learning new battle choreographies, it usually takes a lot of time and effort and muscle memory and whatnot. But once you get the flow of it, it's just very rewarding when you feel that you're killing it, basically. Hey guys, Christopher Norse Rain. When I'm not making videos about Vikings and the Viking Age, I work as an actor and I also do a lot of voiceover work. So I'm shooting today's video in my vocal booth in my house. So it might not look as much, but if nothing else, the sound today is going to be impeccable. I've been working on a project in Dublin recently, and that is what I'm going to talk about today. It's a new Netflix show that uh, released a couple of weeks ago. Most of you have probably heard about it. It's Vikings Valhalla. It's like the spin-off show of the original Vikings series. So it's set in the same universe about 100 years after the original series ended. And in case you haven't seen the show yet, rest assured, there's going to be no spoilers here today. I'm going to talk about the production, my experience of it, and also show you guys some exclusive behind-the-scenes footage. Just like Vikings, Vikings Valhalla is also shot in Wicklow, either in the studio... in the back lot of the studio or in surrounding locations in the Wicklow Mountains. Now this is a very beautiful part of Ireland and I made a video from this area earlier, the one from Glendalough Monastery which was actually attacked by Vikings on several occasions. Caltigat is also in this area, it's right by Loch Tai which is a lake, it's not an actual ocean. And Kaltegat, in case you didn't know, that's not a historical Viking town. It's actually a sea between Denmark and Sweden. I think this one goes without saying, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Vikings Valhalla is not historically accurate. Just like Vikings, they reference a lot of historical characters and several historical events, but they often put them together in a way that's not accurate. So just keep that in mind when you're watching it. I actually made a video about this topic earlier also, about historical accuracy in Viking Age dramas. And long story short, I think it's perfectly fine to have some creative freedom when you're working with dramas. I mean, it's not like it's uh, supposed to be a documentary, but uh, just keep that in mind when you're watching it. There is nothing that can console me now. In the show, I play Agnar, who is King Canute's chieftain and right-hand guy. Unlike uh, King Canute, Agnar is not based on any historical characters. Funny story about Agnar, though, in the early scripts he is referred to as Almud, and that didn't really sit well with me because uh, I didn't recognize that as a Norse name. So I was uh, demanding to have a, a meeting with Jeb Stewart, the showrunner, to, to have them change my name. But before the meeting actually manifested, they had changed it from Almud to Agnar which I was re very happy about because uh, Agnar is a, a solid Norse name. You can find it in uh, Grimnes Mall. Agnar, he actually comes to Odin's aid while Odin is disguised as Grimnir and he helps Odin escape from the torture of Geirödr. So uh, Agnar is uh, definitely a good Norse name. I had a lot of fun doing this show. It was uh, one of the uh, productions that I really wanted to work on back in uh, 
in 2020 but uh, this was also when uh, covid hit so there was definitely a lot of uh, challenges also in regards to the production so uh, probably the the most challenging part was was all the travel and quarantine restrictions so uh, we couldn't really go anywhere from ireland once we got there so we had to stay there for the whole duration of the time and that was probably for everybody involved uh, the most uh, challenging part another thing that was challenging for me was the fact that all the gyms were closed this was during the worst lockdown in dublin everything was closed basically but uh, for me i like to go to the gym six times a week so the fact that uh, i didn't have that opportunity was uh, was uh, tough on me so we got uh, production to set up a conference room with uh, a uh, power rack and some dumbbells and some cardio machines so that became our gym basically one of the things that i really enjoy when i'm working on these kind of productions is riding horses i don't really do it that often it's mostly when i'm working on these kind of shows but uh, every time i do it i really i really enjoy it and also when i get to visit uh, the farms there's usually a lot of animals there uh that i get to play with and uh I'm just a, a big uh, animal lover, I, I guess, and uh, I think it's so much fun getting to do that as part of my work. Another thing that I really love about these productions is working with a stunts team. Learning new battle choreographies, it usually takes a lot of time and effort and muscle memory and whatnot, but once you get the flow of it, it's just very rewarding when you feel that you're killing it, basically. And it's, it's a lot of fun. I guess I just enjoy the simple things in life. If you haven't already, check out Vikings Valhalla on Netflix and let me know what you think about the show in the comments section below. Also, if you got any questions about the show, pop a question below too. Wrapping it up there. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Uh...